old lady of Italian football, La Vecchia Signora, Juventus in Turin. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And Juventus have got themselves into an advantageous position ahead of the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It is Juventus up against Ajax. Thank you, Derek. Well, Juve in a good position after that first leg. I thought the tempo of the game they set, I thought they were brilliant in midfield. But overall, they can't afford to switch off. It's still very, very tight. Lineup. Wojciech Szczesny between the posts. Blaise Matuidi plays with Miralem Pjanic in the centre of the park. And leading the line today is Mario Mandzukic. Well, I remember commentating on the 1990 World Cup on this same patch of land in the old stadium. The big problem then was a running track separating the players from the fans. No such problems now. No, and it makes a massive difference that to the home team. If you can get an intimidating atmosphere, no running track means better atmosphere for the players. The opposition starting 11. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Bentancur with it. It's with Dybala. Well, let's see, does he mean business? Now the attack promising as it was, scuppered there. And Rodrigo Bentancur. It's with David Neres. Tadic has it. David Neres. Bonucci. now Matuidi Cristiano Ronaldo Alexandro now Matuidi here's Ronaldo and here he is Mandzukic De Ligt Schöne with Hakim Ziyech Masrawi with it there's a slide draw pass and whipped into the box thumped clear it is to be a throw in Frankie de Jong and crossed in there no nonsense clearance Dybala Bentancur with it. They've given it away. Ziyech. It is a decent looking attack here. Will there be a tangible end product? And De Beek. Tremendous vision. He's really sliced them open. Corner coming up. A deep corner into the centre of the area. And the no-nonsense clearance. David Neres. 
Well, that is how to run at defenders. He's just a thorough reader of the game. And there we saw him. Daily Blint. And do they mean business on this occasion? Clattered away. Over the touchline for a throw in. Tagliafico. And there's the feed into the box. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Matuidi. Alexandro now. Cristiano Ronaldo. Genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion, but haven't been able to do so. And it's a quality pass. Masrawi here. And the cross is very much on. Here's Ronaldo. It's with Mandzukic. It's with Schöne. Plenty of forward. He's in behind the defence here. And offside it is. Jukic. And Rodrigo Bentancur. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Alexandro. Here's Ronaldo. Mandzukic, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Ronaldo sends it in, well clattered away, and Rodrigo Bentancur, Matuidi, is he going to punish them here, let's we'll see what he has in store for them, and here's Blaise Matuidi, whatever it takes to keep them out, First half completed then, here at the home of Juventus. And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Van der Beek. It's with Schöne. Dolly van der Beek. De Jong. It's with David Neres. Ball with Nicolas Tagliafico. Still possibilities. Well, let's see. Does he mean business? And Lasse Schöne... It wasn't far away from the target, Lee. No, it was decent. Really, really decent chance for the lad. They'll keep pushing away to try and get that equaliser. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Chiellini Joao Cancelo well, you might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far but not every aspect Lee here's Bonucci Bentancur with it Dybala Joao Cancelo looking confident with the ball at his feet teammates could potentially join in and Cristiano Ronaldo waiting and the defender takes care of business. Masrawi with it. I must say, no shortage of space. Routine, really. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. 
on the ball, Zakaria Labiad. Dusan Tadic. Schöner. Pjanic. Cristiano Ronaldo. Matuidi. Juventus, the old lady. They know how to keep the ball. What can they do from here? And cleared away. Juventus will have to throw it back in play. It's a substitution for Juventus. Chiellini, Matuidi, Bentancur with it. Oh goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Here's Ronaldo. Van der Beek. Tagliafico. Well, he's opened up the defence here. Well, it all counts for naught. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Kuntala. Juventus have given it away. Frankie de Jong. He has teammates to play it to. Carrying a genuine threat here. De Jong. Donny van der Beek. Schöne. Will there be a tangible end product? And can he make this move count? And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Substitution time it is. Huntela, Donny van der Beek, De Jong. Van der Beek, and he scored! Level it is on aggregate and on away goals. This appears to be heading for extra time. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Well, let's have another view of that goal. So, 1-1 one, one it is on aggregate. It's with Bentancur. And only two minutes remaining here. Mandzukic. And Rodrigo Bentancur. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. A draw will ensue. Clattered away. He's likely asking himself, why did I shoot from so far out? Well, he's not the only one. I'm asking him and all his teammates are too.
They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. And so the story continues. The first period of extra time, and no one is leaving. Well, fitness levels are going to be tested now, Derek. Emre Can. Alexandro now. Frankie de Jong. Daily Blitz. De Jong. Now De Ligt. It's with Hakim Ziyech. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. It's with Hakim Ziyech. Frankie de Jong. Ziyech. In full control of the ball here. Others in the vicinity. Ziyech Mazraoui with it not messing around with that clearance Costa with it Emre Can loses out Donny van der Beek Mazraoui here Possibilities for Douglas Costa. And cleared away. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. The first period of extra time is over. 15 minutes left. Maybe after that, penalties. We'll see. Can they overcome tired legs? It's the second period of extra time underway now. Matuidi. Chiellini. Now Matuidi. And here he is, Manchukic. And Bernardeschi. Clearing the lines. And so it will be a corner now. Firing it into the area. And a no-nonsense clearance. Douglas Costa waiting. Well, it didn't have to be a 10 out of 10 from the keeper, but high marks anyway. Seven and a half, I'm going to give him for that one. Seven and a half, well done. Van der Beek. And fed forwards. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Well, five minutes remaining in this, the second period of extra time. Here's Bonucci. Emre Chan has given it away. And attempting the through ball. Oh, it was a close run thing, but the goalkeeper just got there first. The electronic... Oh, a lovely ball. Running with the ball confidently. And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. You know, there are many who felt it would go this way. A shootout coming up to determine which of these two teams will reach the final.
And this will test the mentality of any footballer. That's what you call a mischievous penalty with a stutter step. Yeah, it's really difficult for the keeper when the penalty taker does that. And he steps up to take his penalty. He's gambled on direction and won. Well, he's got his angles right there. Just look at that for goalkeeping. And he's denied them from the spot. Oh, it's lovely goalkeeping, really is. Can he remain calm? Well, some people might have had doubts about his run-up, but the referee didn't see anything wrong. Well, I love that. I couldn't do it myself, but I love watching it. Can he get the better of the keeper? Superbly done. How many players would try that? Well, you look stupid if you miss, but look at him now. Well, he stuttered a bit, but the goal has been given. Well, it's a cheeky goal, it really is. His turn to try to convert from the spot. Well, the chips were down, but he couldn't keep his chip down. Well, when he goes in, it looks brilliant. Now he just looks silly. And he squandered it off target. Well, he looked nervous, didn't he? Can he convert? And he's beaten the keeper. No doubt. Head down. Lovely strike. You want a pressure cooker? This is it. He must score. And it's gone in. Well, the sweet sound of the ball hitting the net. Will he be able to keep the demons at bay? And he's tucked his penalty away, Lee. Well, he held his nerve. Simple as that. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. The goalkeeper's moment. Huge save to take his team through to the final. Simple. The keeper, a hero.